Right, Mr. Palmer here, going to do this video on binary trees on removing nodes. Okay, it's the last one in that series on binary trees. So basically, there's a couple of basic um, cases when we've got a delete node. Okay, uh, we should be able to use a search technique to uh, it, to basically traverse through a tree and handle leaf nodes, nodes with single pointer, nodes with double pointers, which are subtrees, and then the final special case of handling deleting the root. Okay. There are many different techniques for deleting nodes from trees. I'm going to use what's called deleting by copying. And then once you get the basic idea of what's going on, you can probably rewrite this to uh, use a recursion. All right. So um, if you think about what we need to do when we want to delete nodes, if I got this uh, tree of Street Fighter characters and I want to get rid of Balrog over there on the left hand side, uh, basically what I need to keep track of is the parent point uh, node of that one I want to get rid of. Because basically I need to change the point on the parent node. Uh, in order to get rid of it from uh, the tree because once I break that link and make that null then the garbage collector will come along and pick that uh, node up for me All right. so the algorithm is quite complicated I'm going to be going through it in different uh, step by step okay uh, to begin with I have my uh, my method okay called delete I've got one parameter which is the criteria uh, with that, and that's going to be the actual data that I'm looking for uh, based on the videos that we've done before, we were building up the binary tree. I called my uh, node class tree node. So I'm creating two um, temporary tree nodes for the purpose of this um, deletion process to begin with. One of them is going to be the parent, and the other one is the actual node that we want to get rid of. And to begin with, we're going to set parent as null. Okay. The next thing I need to do is I basically need to traverse um, through the tree, starting at the root. So node to delete is going to be equal to the root, and then while well, node to delete is not null, so that meaning I haven't hit the uh, the bottom of the folder of a leaf node, and the payload is not equal to the criteria. I'm going to set the parent to node to delete, and then basically if the criteria is smaller, I'm going to go left. Otherwise, I need to go right. Okay. Uh, now there are a few different cases I said earlier. So first of all, we're going to talk about leaf nodes. Um, they're easy to get rid of, and then nodes that have a single pointer. So basically, um, if I have a leaf node, I want to get rid of, um, uh, let's see, uh, Balrog over here. So basically, as we talked about earlier, all right. basically what I need to do is I need to keep a track of the uh, left pointer from the parent because I want to change that pointer to now be null. All right. So I know I've hit a leaf node because if node.left is null and the node.right is null, then basically the parent pointer can also be null. Because there's nothing else underneath it that the parent needs to now point to. All right, I won't worry about that too much at the moment because the way we're going to handle nodes with a single pointer will take care of this for us. All right, now say if I want to get rid of Fei Long from uh, my binary tree, okay, well, basically, uh, in order to get rid of Fei Long, I need to get to keep a track of Fei Long's pointer because I'm going to set the parent of Fei Long to now point at the child of Fei Long. Long. and that's basically just going to bypass this node and it will get rid of it from the tree for me all right similarly if Phelong had a left pointer I could do the same thing and just basically set that uh, pointer of the parent to now point to the the child node and that works out absolutely fine because this is going to be greater than that okay because it's underneath it in the tree now uh, Moving on, okay. Uh, so if we've got single pointers and leaf nodes, right? If the current left is null, then we're going to set the parent to be the current right, okay? Otherwise, the parent can equal the left pointer of that node, okay? Now, um, the this handles leaf nodes for us because uh, if it's a leaf node, then the right and the left both are going to be null. So basically, if the right is null then we're just going to set the parent to be the left which will make it null because there's nothing else to point to and that just so this will take care of um, single pointers and leaf nodes for us okay similarly if I want to get rid of the left pointer uh, a pointer on the left hand side so I want to get rid of Balrog uh, basically I can just uh, get the pointer for birdie and copy that up um, to uh, Blanca's left pointer and that will be absolutely fine because I comes before L in the alphabet all right so uh, after a little while statement we found out where the node was that we wanted to delete well i'm going to make another temporary node a placeholder 
Okay, and then I make that node to delete. Now, if the root is null, then there's nothing in the tree, so it's an empty tree. Okay. Otherwise, if the node to delete is not null, and the node matches the criteria, we found a match, and we need to start doing some stuff in there to manipulate the nodes. Otherwise, the item is not in the tree. Everything going forward from now is going to go into this little section down here where we're going to be manipulating the nodes. All right. So if we find a match, we can basically start getting rid of um, those nodes with single pointers. So if node right is null, node equals node dot left. Otherwise, node dot left equals um, if node dot left is null, then node equals node dot right. Okay. Else we're going we need to start handling subtrees. Okay. So we've handled over here. Um, there's no right node. It's copy left. Otherwise, we're going to copy the right node over, or it was a leaf node and we've just copied null up. So now we've got that third case handling subtrees. Okay. So what happens now if that node has got two pointers? This is a bit where it gets a bit more tricky. Okay. It's basically if I want to delete a node from a subtree, so I want to get rid of Blanker, Blanker's got two pointers. He's got a left pointer and a right pointer to the nodes that come after him. Right. Uh, what I would basically want to do is Blanker, if I if I just look at this little tree over here all by itself, Blanker is like the midpoint of this tree. So I need to find something else to replace Blanker as the midpoint. So either I find the maximum value from the so I find the next smallest value or I find the next biggest value so the next smallest value is going to be the uh, rightmost node in the left subtree all right so basically if I go look in the left subtree here and then I follow it down and I keep and I go right and I keep going right keep going right keep going right I find the next value um, the next smallest value the alternative to that basically is to um, find the leftmost node from the right subtree that will do the exact same thing because it's just going to find the next largest value after that kind of midpoint that we were looking at that we want to get rid of. So if, we, if you're looking around at other algorithms online, you might see some of them go for the min value on the right and others will go for the max value on the left. Um, I'm going to do the former. I'm going to go for the um, max the minimum value on the, uh, sorry, the maximum value on the right hand side, okay, to get the next smallest value. Right, so um, here I was, right, I'm going to get rid of um, Blanca, all right, I found Birdie as being the smallest um, next value, so basically um, I'm going to now copy Birdie up, all right. And then I'm going to change the pointer of birdie to be the pointer of uh, to the parent node that I had before. Okay, and I had to keep a track of that parent over here because there was a um, a pointer going down over here, and I have to get rid of that pointer to remove birdie from the tree because otherwise I end up with a duplicate value. So if I want to delete a node that's got left and right pointers, I'm going to traverse the left subtree to the rightmost node to find the, sm the next smallest value, okay? The what's so the value just before the one I want to get rid of. I'm going to copy just the value over to the node that I want to get rid of. So I'm keeping the pointers all the same. It's going to save me some hassle. And then finally, I'm going to need to remove the duplicate value from the tree, all right? <clears throat> so this is going to go now, this is like the third level, all right? Um, and this is the bit to handle subtrees. Once we've handled um, manipulating um, the structure into that temporary node to handle the subtree, we're then going to jump back up a level to finish actually tidying up the tree. Okay, so I'm going to create a temp node um, from my left pointer. Okay, uh, and that was the, the node that I found. And then I'm going to set the previous to be the temp node. And I'm going to use the same traversal technique. All right. But this time I'm just going to keep going um, right. right. So I went to the left node of the one I want to get rid of. And then I'm just, I keep going right, okay, uh, until I end up with a null node. And so basically what I've been able to find is the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, the next smallest value in the list. All right. Now basically I'm going to, get the max value out of that temp node 
and I'm going to set it to the, the node that I want to get rid of. And then finally, if the temporary node and the temporary parent are both the same, okay, then basically I'm just going to copy the subtree up, all right, and that's it. Now that that's done, I can actually go finish off um, tidying up the tree, all right. So everything you can you can see um, where we're going to fill in the gaps, all right. This was uh, the level one stuff we did where the item is not in the tree. This is where we left off um, with the level two bits and bobs, all right. So if the uh, node to delete matches the root, then basically um, I need to set the root to be my new subtree that I've just made. Uh, so we're handling getting rid of the root. Um, otherwise, all right, I want to get rid of. I'm getting rid of the node on the left, and so therefore the node, the parent left now, it needs to equal that temporary um, little tree that we made. Otherwise, the, we're getting rid of something on the right, and so the parent or right can equal the node that we're getting rid of. All right. Um, and in all cases, we're going to get rid of the root. Basically, you need to get point the root to the new root. Uh, if that makes sense and then we handle that uh, in our first case up here where if the um, node that we we're going to get rid of match the root then we'd already created a new subtree um, in this under this thing called node so we can just set root to point at that new subtree that we made all right and so basically uh, you should now be able to use uh, the algorithms I've given you to delete uh, nodes from a binary tree that's it.